first of all, uh, over a try. Um, to do well, please not. Uh, please, probably not pleased uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's always nice to get over a try, but probably pretty gutted with the result today. Um, it's a special occasion uh, playing here. You know, at Magic at Newcastle, absolutely love it. Um, and you know, the, the, uh, we we had a special jersey on today, and um, it was a, was a special moment to run out, represent you know Doddy, uh, and what you know what he achieved and what he stood, what he stands for, what he stood for. So. Yeah, really good that we couldn't, you know, get over the line and uh, do it for for Doddy and you know the M and D community. But uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's pretty tough on take. Ten points up with just over ten minutes to go. Uh, you must have thought we were going to get go on and get the win at that point. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? It's a cruel game sometimes, and uh, we probably were our own worst enemy. Um, there were plenty of games where you know we were on the other side of that scoreboard, and we used you know last ten minutes we won a few games the same way. So to be on the receiving end of that, like I said, it's really disappointing. And yeah, like I said, we probably were our own worst enemy. And uh, and you know, Cass, Cass, you know they were brave. They played ball on last tackle, uh, threw a bit at us, and you know managed to get over the line. So uh, yeah, I guess I guess it was a tough finish. We made a number of errors across the team in our own half and in the tackle count. What can you put that down to? Is it just when things are going, going bad, it can become a bit contagious? Yeah, I guess, um, you know, no one goes out there and thinks, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to bother today or, you know, I'm not going to hold the ball. It, you know, it, it doesn't work like that. Everyone goes out there and uh, everyone, you know, when you play professional sport, the main goal is to win and do it as a team. and. Uh, you know, I guess you know, these things happen, and today was an example of you know of that. We're like I said, we were our own worst enemy, and we uh, we, we kind of went into self-destruct mode a few times, where like you say, we you know we spilled the ball, or uh, you know we didn't we didn't deal up well enough, and we're a bit soft in certain areas. So uh, yeah, you know the knock-ons they're not great, and. And a big number of them can uh, can add up to, to cause a bit of damage, but also you know there's a, there's a lot of different things that that accumulated throughout the game in our defence, especially uh, at the start, you know that caused us to be in that situation. Um, the great atmosphere from the Leeds fans and travelling big numbers. You went round at the end to to say thank you to them. Uh, their, their support was tremendous today. Oh. Honestly, like I said, I love playing here. Uh, there's loads of you know fans from different clubs. Our fans are always amazing. Uh, the support is incredible, uh, and you know it's not a short drive for them. So I guess going around and saying thank you and taking pictures is the least we can do. Uh, but also you know fans from different clubs uh, staying behind and uh, showing their support and you know getting pictures is, is great. It's it's a special occasion, like I said, that you know brings the rugby league community together, and it's great to see all fans sitting together, having a bit of banter, uh, just enjoying some good games of rugby league. And as players, we really appreciate that. And, you know, without the fans here, you know, it's it's not a magic weekend. Uh, it's not a special occasion. So, yeah, I'd like to probably say a massive thank you to all the travelling fans for coming over and creating an amazing atmosphere.